At the height of his career, Wayne Carey had few equals in the sport. He strode the AFL stage like he owned it. So to stand Carey in the 98 grand final was undoubtedly Peter Caven's biggest ever challenge. But his success in restricting the champion centre-half forward to just one goal went a long way to ensuring the Crows won the flag. Only two minutes away from the kickoff for the 1998 AFL grand final. Lighty came to me on Monday night. We, uh, we'd beaten West, uh, Western Bulldogs fairly convincingly. He said, look, we're going to play. I'm going to play on Wayne Carey. You know, he was uh, the biggest thing in football. They call him the king for anything. So he said, look, Peter, he's stronger than you. He's faster than you. He's bigger than you. Yeah, he can kick longer than you. He's, you know, had a bit of a chuckle and thought, well, what do you want me to do? And Blighty was uh, very positive. You know, he said um, all through his coaching, he wanted all these defenders to, to play in front. And this year, yeah, this, for this particular game, he said, well, I want you to play him from behind because they'll run into Pagan's paddock. So, you know, play him from behind, don't get in a wrestle with him because he'll be too strong for you. So bring the ball to ground and let's be attacking. There was one of the first 20 seconds of where uh, he took a mark and, and Dave Pittman always reminds me that the phone rang on the bench and said, well, Pitto, start warming up, you know, <laughs> if he gets out of control, he's got to go on, but yeah, he kicked one five. Well, I was a bit disappointed in that one goal. If you, if you have a look at the replay, uh, there was a boundary throwing and I uh, we just went to the boundary and I said to Nigel, who was closer to him at the moment at the time, I said, oh, can you just mind him for 10 seconds and I'll pick up your man. And if you watch the replay, the ball comes out of the back, Kerry gets it and kicks it off the ground on the outside of his foot and goes through. And, uh, Nigel's never really apologised for that. Caven goes hard. The boundary line there. Caven just slings it back towards hard. My whole mindset for that game was to make sure he didn't win the Norm Smith on me and let, the <laughs> let my teammates down. So, because they were favourites, that sort of the pressure had got to them and, and we played, you know, extremely good footy after half time. And, um, yeah, when that final siren went, that, the feeling was unbelievable, for, you know, knowing that you, you know, you, you've, uh, you've won it. And, and again, from back to back, it was just a great feeling.